Hey, I'm back. This time I'll do something a little bit different. I decided to give you my impressions and my final thoughts on my Tika T3 7mm08 after the first 700 rounds through it. Um, I've been hand loading probably the first 500 rounds through here um, and the actually first yeah, you know, five, six hundred rounds through here. Uh, the rest, I was far from the brass. Um, and just kind of breaking the barrel in. My impressions of the Tika T3, and a lot of you already know about the Tikas, they're made from Sako uh, in Finland. Made from the same plant as Sako. So the action, the bolts, um, three lug, bolt, butter smooth, um, could not be happier with the rifle setup. It has the Athlon Ares 624 first focal plane. Now for anyone that's looking for a rifle that is a good all-around rifle in the woods as well as uh, the range, you cannot go wrong with Tika T3. 7mm08 is a phenomenal round. It is a great big hunting round. It is a phenomenal target round. I've had this one out to um, a thousand yards, and that's in one of my other videos. Uh, a thousand yards with the setup here. Take it three or the seven mm eight with this first focal plane um, out to a thousand yards, no problem. Working on getting out twelve hundred fifty yards. Now, it's not as good as let's say one of your uh, PRS style rifles but it is head and shoulders above a mid-range um, American or Axis style rifle rifle from one of the other manufacturers. Um, it is phenomenal. Free float barrel, butter smooth, renowned take of action. You could not as for a better combination. I have not had one issue through, actually I did, I did have an issue, I had to, I had to disassemble um, at about 400 rounds, 500 rounds, I had to take the bolt shroud off and lube everything because the firing pin just wouldn't engage. But it was an easy fix, took the cap off, pulled the pin out, lubed everything. Uh, it was probably neglect on my fault, uh, my part. Um, no problem whatsoever. A lot of people will change the uh, the bolt out and they'll change the plastic shroud out for one of the metal shrouds. But other than that, um, I have a basic Caldwell uh, bipod on here. I mean, this thing right here has been a champ. Um, 30, 30 millimeter uh, tube. Um, scope mounts and I have a vortex bubble level on there so if you're looking for a rifle that is just phenomenal um, sub $800 price range this Tika T3 was replaced by the Tika T3X and this is a light model um, it's got a thinner barrel than one of the varmints um, so if you're looking for a great rifle to take out to the woods take to the range and a good all-around rifle that you don't have to baby and it's not finicky about what round you run through it uh, as you see behind me I have several let's see I've had put burger uh, 168 in there I put uh, burger 170s um, the horny right now I'm shooting a ELDX uh, 150 and I had a one of the heavier grains, and I've gone back and forth between um, the IMR 164 and the Reloader 7 powder. It's not a problem at all. This is like the Glock of rifles. So if you're looking for a good rifle that's not going to break the bank, that will never let you down, take a look at the teeth. So do you have to turn around and spend a thousand dollars on a rifle, twelve hundred dollars on a rifle, twelve hundred dollars on glass to be accurate? 
Well, you could. Or you can keep money in your pocket and go with the 7 milliweight Tika T3 and knock it on there you scope. Now here's one for you. Does a more expensive rifle make you a better shooter? Or will a less expensive rifle expose all your shooting flaws, which will in turn make you a better shooter, give you a chance to fix those flaws? Hmm. That's a good one. I don't know the answer to that one. Let me know what you think. Do you shoot better with a more expensive rifle? Or is it the person behind the trigger that makes the rifle better? Let me know what you guys think.